Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a coffee bar or coffee space in my kitchen. I only have one available spot until I can clear out my cupboards and shelves. So I have this shelf that's beside my little pantry and it has three shelves on it. So, I was going to make me a little coffee area, that's a better word, on the top shelf. I'm tired of digging through everything to get my tea and coffee and my supplies. So, I'm going to centralize it all on this shelf. And I was going to try and make it cute. So, I bought a couple of things from the Goodwill for... 99 cents. I bought this coffee sign. Thought it was really cute. And from the Dollar Tree, I bought this placemat. I'm going to use it to put on the shelf to make it flat to fill up the little holes in the shelf. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to give it a try. This is the area I have right here. Um, I'm going to have to clean that shelving off of there and declutter my cupboards. So this is literally the only space and it's going to share a space with my um, spices and containers and stuff like that. The top shelf will be my little coffee area. And then we have spices and then containers and drinks on the bottom shelf. What I was going to do with this is put it down on top like this. Kind of make my area a little nicer. So I have that. This is the French press I bought from Ikea. It's really nice. $8.99. Hadn't opened it yet. And I'm not going to now, just to save a little time. But I want to set this over here. So there's that. So we have my French press and I think I'm going to put the little sign. My grandma taught me that you can use a rolling pin for a, a little bit of everything. So let's try.
going to use this to put my sugar packets in. Had it on hand from a Dollar General decor haul, if you guys remember it. So I'm going to put it to use. I did just have it sitting on my table. It's hot in here. So there's my little sugar packet and I mostly just have this but I do have some ground coffee over there. I'm going to try and find a cute container for it at the Dollar General or somewhere and then I will put that on here. Nobody around here really has real sugar in their coffee or tea so these are fine. I will put some powdered creamer in a nice little container also. I don't have any with lids, so we're just going to have to go today and get those. But for now, I'm going to have this set up right here. It's not perfect, I know. It's kind of a novice coffee area but I like it and it costed a dollar for the blessed placemat $8.99 for the French press $0.99 cents for the coffee sign and a dollar for this halfway through when I was doing the the beating the nails in for the picture I took the plant off of here. It needs dusted. So I will put that back soon. Or maybe find some type of coffee sign or something to put up in here to go with it. So yeah, this is my little budget coffee area. Maybe I'll add a couple of cups. I'm going to put my Gemini cup or Gemini cup on my coffee area and I'm going to put my mama bear cup on my coffee area and I forgot about these to go on my coffee area because lots of times I want to take coffee with me but I don't have any appropriate cups if you know what I mean. So, just gonna do this. These are from the Dollar Tree. Just has some cups and lids. Just gonna leave it like that. And. Trying to figure out how to set this up. How these little coffee cups. Maybe set the cups at the back and bring the sugar forward. Someday I want a better coffee area. But for now this is going to have to do. This is all the space I have, literally. So, maybe that. Just a little coffee area. 
I know some of you ladies have some really beautiful coffee bar areas and that is my goal to have a nice one but for now this is what I have so I'm just going to work with what I have and I'm putting the basics on it I may put some tea because I do have tea often so I may find a cute container from the Dollar General for tea and stick it on here too though I don't know where because I'm basically out of room <laughs> but yeah has my coffee, my cups, my sugar. I usually use whipping cream in my coffee, so I don't need to put that on here, but other people use the powdered creamer, so definitely gonna try and find some containers for the ground coffee and the powdered creamer and some tea, so. I found a couple more things for my little coffee area at the Dollar Tree found this tea towel I think that's what you call it it says wake up and smell the coffee and I found these little pot holders that match I don't know what I'm gonna do with these but we'll figure it out I figure it probably go with my little coffee area so I'm gonna see what I can do with these things here Still hadn't put nothing back here yet. I'm gonna try and find something coffee related. I think what I'm gonna do is put this towel down through here. Just make it pretty. The fact that I have to have these spices here messes it up really, but oh well. When I get that shelf cleaned off over there, maybe all this stuff can fit on there, but for now this will do. So I don't know what to do with these pot holders, so I think I'm just going to lay one. really want to cover up my little blessed placemat. So, we're going to find somewhere to put these. That ain't going to work because it won't hang. Maybe I'll just put I did stack my cups. Decided to just stack them and we'll leave that there. I still didn't find no containers for sugar, creamer, and coffee grounds. But I'm going to try to go to the Dollar General today. Dollar Tree didn't have nothing like that at all. So that's what I got to update it. Let's see. And like I said, when these spices get moved, maybe it'll look a little better. Right now it's looking a little cluttered to me. If there's something you would do different, let me know. Something that you see that I don't, I'm open to suggestions. So that's what I got so far. That's that. It's just my little coffee area on a budget. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you did. And if you could give me a like, I would appreciate that also. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.